two gauge wire. Okay, from the top of this ladder, I have three lengths of 86 foot 22 gauge wire. It stretches across the yard and attaches to that gray uh, dish down there, so it's suspended in the air. And okay, now on the wire, you want to smear some. Uh, epoxy quick dry along the entire length of the wire just wear gloves put it on there just smooth it out all the way along okay here's the winding jig and I coated the uh, plastic area here with this uh, wax release agent and eventually you want the coil to look like this and then black sand goes inside here here's the wax that I use as the release agent here's the coil being wound up it's about halfway wound right now. Just spin it along. Okay, here's the finished coil. Now I'm going to wrap some blue tape around it like this coil has. So when it's taken out of the jig, the winds don't fall apart. Okay, now I'm going to take out the uh, coil from the jig. There's that side. So now you got to pop out this without upsetting the coil. knock out the uh, inner core thing uh, find some scrap plastic or something with a hole like about like that and then uh, pop it out with a hammer okay I'm going to knock it out now Some of those wines came with it a little bit, but it's not bad. So, anyway, so that's how you take out the uh, core. Okay, now you mix uh, black sand. Uh, with epoxy and you're going to make cores for this. Here's some of the black sand. Get it on eBay. Uh, look for people who have a gold mine and they have a lot of this sort of stuff left over. I'm going to put about this much epoxy in there to fill two coils. I like to, uh, with my finger, rim some epoxy all the way around inside first so that it's going to st stick really well to the inside of the coil. Okay, just fill up uh, some plastic thing, whatever, with uh, epoxy. Stir it up and then add the black sand and mix it up so you get it how you want it. Okay, adding the black sand, let's go say that much, whatever for now. I put about three more scoops in here. Okay, now 
can reach in here and scoop it out. Kind of use it like clay. You have to do this pretty fast while it's drying. So, stuff it in there. Push it down really good so it gets in all the uh, air gaps of those wines. That'll give you more amps. Okay, see, I'm going to make a concave surface, so I got that one done. Okay, before uh, it hardens, the black sand epoxy mix. I have this trailer hitch ball and I covered it with a uh, wax resist release agent. And this will give it a kind of nice round shape. So that's how I get that concave shape going. Okay. Okay, now uh, put the two coils on flat surface, put a battery on top or whatever, and now just let it dry. You want those coils to be exactly the same uh, height, so there it is.